Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar rahim This tutorial we're going to talk about programming with JavaScript. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is an event oriented programming language. It's EOP. Its syntax is similar to Java. It's not compiled, it's interpreted by the browser. So the browser interpret the JavaScript and you can run the code. JavaScript versus Java. Why it's called JavaScript? Actually, I don't know why it's called JavaScript, but it might be similar to Java in the naming convention because its syntax is very similar to the normal Java that we know. JavaScript is interpreted language where, where Java is compiled language. This is the first difference. Other thing, JavaScript is loosely typed. I mean by loosely typed, we don't have to define the type of each variable that we have. In the other hand, Java, you need to define the class, the type, and everything is an instance of an object. Whether in Java, no, we don't have this um, object-oriented approach. It's have, you know, in, in JavaScript, we have objects, but it's not object-oriented. It's event typed or it's event programming language event oriented programming language whether in java everything is instance of an object we have classes we have interfaces a class uh, might extend other class a class might implement an interface whether in javascript no we don't have this relationship it's case sensitive the same as java it's loosely typed single threaded we have single threaded whether java is multi-threaded language types are not specified whether here type are specified it's called loosely type whether java is type structured for example if you need to define an object in java you type object equal new object in, J in javascript you just define var object then you do what, whatever you want so javascript is loosely type you need you don't need to define the type we have the base thing in javascript is even data types okay we have many data types even data types including number boolean string array object they function null and define regular expressions, math, JSON, date, window, document, and so forth. All these are called events data types. You can use type of in order to know whether an element is type of each of these event data types. If you have a string, you need to know whether it's type of string. For example, I have variable x. Is it a, a type of string? If it's type of string, we gotta know that it's true. If not, it's false. So type of null is null. Type of undefined is undefined. So you need, you need to know how to use. Sometimes you need you need to know type of. You need to to use type of. A specified event data types. Let's begin with the first event data type that we have here, which is the string. The same as Java, when you define a string, it's a set of characters. So we have S0, that means the character, the first element of the string. So if you have AB, the first character is A. So S0 is A. When you need to get the last element of the string, or let me say the last character or before the last character, you just type s.quar at 
s dot length, which would mean the string length minus one, you get the last element or the pre last element. Logical operator. We have uh, larger than, uh, less than, less or equal than, you know, and 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 the same as when you need to define two logical operator. At the same time, you need to make two conditional statement if x is bigger than nine and x is less than five. So you use this the same as Java. Not equal, 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 not equal, and equal, equal, equal. Three equals is different than. Uh, equal equal because when you type 5 is equal equal to 5 that mean 5 is the same as the same value of 5 so we know that loosely type this is a string in Java but in JavaScript this is not a string this is an even data type so we can vary we make the comparison uh, between 5 and 7 regardless of the type so 5 is less than 7 it's true even if 7 is a string here we have 5 as a string equal equal to 5 we're gonna return false because we have the three equals here mean it's for the type and the value so make sure when you uh, need to make a comparison according to type and value use this three equal uh, logical operator for the boolean uh, we have boolean uh, whether it's 0 or 0, 0.0 or nan or empty string or null or undefined if you put it here inside the if statement it's gonna return false so any of these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 value gonna be false anything other than this values gonna be true so if you type a string name it x equal 5 and you make a if x that mean it's true so anything other than these values going to be true if the seven value is going to return false for the arrays when you use array we have to define sometimes an empty array so you type, you type var name equal these two array brackets this mean this is an empty array this is comment in javascript if you need this is a small letter be careful var name equal v1 semicolon okay ahmad or colin this is called colin semicolon with dot here so v1 colin ahmad that means this array contains two elements the first one is v1 and the other one is ahmad in order to add to an array at the end, you type name dot push. So we're gonna add at the bar, at the top, or at the end of the array. So you just type name dot push. Fadi, it's gonna be here. In the other hand, when you type unshift, you're gonna add to the first. So unshift, unshift linear, you're gonna add it to the first of the array so it's gonna be here in the you know up before v1 with a push gonna be at the end after Ahmed Bob we're gonna take the last element of the stack pop is the same as the stack or the array so we got to bop out I mean I gotta take it from the end of the stack so anything after Ahmed gonna take it out shift is the, is the first as pop but we gotta pop from the first so I gotta pop anything before uh, v1 so or the v1 if, the, if v1 the first I gotta pop it out okay I gotta shift it out so these four operation for arrays okay what about undefined versus null um, null is the thing that we have defined before but we didn't give it a value so if you type, type var x, that means, okay, we have variable x, but its value is not assigned. So, okay, it's defined, but it doesn't have any value. Whether undefined, it's not defined. We didn't de type var something equals something, because we, have, we hadn't defined it yet. So these are the two things that you should care about. No, my p is defined and its value is null 
all right it's not empty but it's null and defined whether undefined is not defined and even it doesn't have a null value you know okay okay um Sorry for that. Uh, for EDP, which is event driven program, we're going to see this in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Ahmed Nasser. And uh, this is my channel, Studio 007. Uh, we're going to see you in part two of Introduction to JavaScript. We're going to cover event driven programming. So thank you guys. See you in the next tutorial.